In the news this week, President and venal houseplant Joe Biden gave the first press conference he can remember, speaking in a White House broom closet he had convinced himself was a stadium during a Trump-style rally with actual cheering people in it, instead of a small, enclosed space crowded with mops and brooms that just vaguely looked like people if you kept the lights off and narrowed your eyes. The president said he would, quote, continue my work of uniting Americans with the snarling, Bull Connor-like wannabe domestic terrorists who make up about 65 percent of this racist country's hate-filled population, unquote. Answering questions asked by a bucket of dirty mop water in a corner of the closet, or possibly a reporter from NPR, it was difficult to tell the difference. The president said his favorite ice cream flavor was vanilla, the last book he read was Goodnight Moon, and Russia could go ahead and invade Ukraine, as long as it wasn't one of those great big invasions, but just a little invasion where they burned down a couple of cities, killed some people, and went home, kind of like Black Lives Matter. Russian President Vladimir Putin responded to the president while crushing a dissident's throat with his boot heel, saying, quote, this is either a reasonable, a reasonable president I can work with or a piece of furniture that looks like a human being. I'm not sure which. But while I will try to keep my invasion small, it is difficult to do anything small when you have rippling muscles like mine and can literally kill a man just by looking at him, especially if you step on his throat afterward like this, unquote, except for a long gurgling sound of death by strangulation. Back in America, President Venal went on to tell mops or reporters that he had had a very successful presidency. When one reporter asked why Los Angeles, Chicago, and New York now look like the aftermath of a train wreck or a nuclear strike with buildings in ruins, the earth blackened, and screaming people running through the smoke and flames, crying, oh, when, oh, when will Jesus or Donald Trump return to earth to end this unbearable suffering, the president said that was just a matter of messaging. Winding up the press conference on a positive note, Biden gave one of his fake, vaguely nasty laughs, then leaned into the microphone with that terrifying bug-eyed look of his and spoke in one of those bizarre whispers that just haunt your dreams for days afterward, saying, quote, wear a mask. It's patriotic and it makes you look like those Muslim girls they have in some of these crazy countries everywhere. Don't you just want to rip that covering off them and stick your nose in their silky black hair and make motorboat noises? Of course you do. We all do. Or maybe just I do. But when I was a younger man fighting with gangsters in the prison cell where I'd been put for marching with Martin Luther King, or maybe that's a fantasy I had, or possibly I'm just making crap up. But in any case, how about those white women? Are they bigots or what? But they just smell so good. Wait a minute. Is this a broom closet? Unquote. In a later statement clarifying every remark Biden has made since 1957, White House spokeswoman Jen Psaki said Democrats were confident the country would be totally united as soon as the FBI finished hunting down anyone who disagreed with them. Hey, if you enjoyed our content, how could you not? Subscribe and like us and subscribe to The Andrew Clavin Show podcast wherever you get your podcasts.